crash and burn. Hey everyone, tonight I want to discuss a record that has continuously meant so much to me since I grabbed it back in 94. And this is Cannibal Corpse's best record by far from the Barnes era. And that record is, of course, The Bleeding. I don't even know what to say. If there could be a death metal record with radio hits on it, this would be that record. Like, if death metal went pop, this would be the record leading the charge. Now, when I say death metal goes pop, I don't mean to, you know, suggest that they had whoever was relevant at this point. Like, I can't see anybody more mainstream music guesting on a Cannibal Corpse record. Just the, the mere mention of it seems so absurd. But nonetheless, this is the most fucking fun death metal record possibly ever made. And especially considering that I can use the word fun, despite there being songs with titles such as Fucked With A Knife and, of course, the lightning rod for controversy that is stripped, raped, and strangled. You, they're not pulling any punches with that title. Like, you are not going to be able to sell this to some people with that title, with that fucking song being on here. But I will say this, Strip, Raped, and Strangled is so incredibly catchy, and it's like, you know, they think they know who I am, and it's like, da -da 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 -da. all they know is I love to kill, and it's like, I really don't like rape in media at all. Like, I see rape, and it kind of turns me off completely, but goddamn, this is just so fucking catchy, like, that I can't help myself but love it, you know? Scott Burns outdid himself here, and, you know, I could do a whole video about Scott Burns, but he understood how to produce this type of music. Like, he, I don't know, he just had such a gift. Like, the, this music produces such a, 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 like a cacophonous wall of sound that there's no space for you to put, you know, a crisp and clean ride cymbal or a, a sparkling clean guitar solo and shit like that. Like, this is it. This shit is so wild and so fast and so loud that it's impossible for the average producer to figure a place to put everything. Because, you know, when you're working with, like, traditional pop music, there's all this space among the spectrum for you to put in a saxophone solo and some backing vocals and then, I don't know, whatever else. It, you've got the air, you've got the room. But with this music, oh, fuck, it's, like, right there. And Burns figured out how to space it out so correctly so that every, like, every snare hit, every cymbal, every note played, every, every string plucked, has its place to shine. And it's amazing to think that Burns just would quit and stopped. But yeah, this record is so catchy and this record is so much fun. It's such a shame that this would actually be the record that would break up the original group of Cannibal Corpse because Barnes and the rest of the boys just weren't seeing eye to eye on much anymore. And Barnes had six feet under rolling and next thing you knew he just wasn't in Cannibal anymore, and this would be the record that would sever the relationship, and this light just died, so what light should I put on now? It's gonna completely fuck everything up, but whatever. It's, oh, that's good, move it, fuck it, eh, whatever, who cares, that's good enough. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame that this is the record that saw the demise of uh, the initial run of the pretty much fully intact Cannibal Corpse, Bob Rousse, of course, he was gone. Um, but anyways, yeah, this record, if there could be pop hits, this would be the record that has it. Fucked with a knife. I mean, stick it in, rip the skin, carve and twist, torn flesh from behind. Cut a crotch in her ass, I stuck my cock. Killing as I come. That is fucking poetry when you're a kid. I am telling you, when I saw those lyrics, I was like, holy shit. I'm like, this is what I'm watching in every movie I was in love with. You know, I remember at that point I was watching Dead Alive a lot. And, and then it's like, but this is like, it's like 
my God, this is so horrific. And this is so fucking scary. And Barnes's lyrics are so psychotic. And of course, up until this point, I mean, I had already known a lot about Cannibal Corpse because um, Eaten Back to Life, Tomb of the Mutilated, and Butchered at Birth, I had them constantly, especially Tomb of the Mutilated. I mean, th th that was sort of the this, that was the sort of the pre-pop record that they would make, so to speak, because that record had a couple songs on it that I always thought should have given them more exposure. Um, but this record, oh my God, I mean, Pulverized is on here. She Was Asking For It is on here. An Experiment in Homicide is on here, Staring Through the Eyes of the Dead, Fucked With a Knife, Stripped, Raped, and Strangled. There isn't a bad song on here. Now, my favorite songs are Fucked With a Knife, Stripped, Raped, and Strangled, Pulverized, fucking Pulverized. I mean, I love that song. She Was Asking For It was absolutely brilliant. And I just, I love the title. That is so 1950s era EC Comics Tales from the Crypt. And Force Fed Broken Glass. Now, see, that is something most of us can relate to on a more personal level. Like, who hasn't been Force Fed Glass? It's not, I eat glass because I'm tough, man. I take chunks of that motherfucker and throw it in because I'm not afraid to die. Why did I just talk about eating glass? Like, I thought it was cool. Anyways. I'm going to go because this motherfucker ran a little long yet again. And for that, I truly apologize, but I'm probably going to keep doing that because I like to ramble. But yes, thank you so much for hanging out with me for seven minutes while I discussed Cannibal Corpse's absolutely fucking perfect masterpiece from 1994, The Bleeding. Like always, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. But most importantly, don't forget that the world is a better place because you are in it. And yeah, have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.